Hey guys, welcome to an ACE review, back by popular demand. Okay, we're reviewing today um, Funko Reaction Dark Crystal figures based off of three and three quarter um, nostalgia toys that Funko makes with their Reaction series. This is the Dark Crystal. This is one of my favorites as a kid. I still love it today. And um, this is Jim Henson's 1982 classic. No humans um, were filmed on it, everything, even the plant life, everything was all uh, made up or based on something. It was all puppets, and um, it's a really, really good film and still a classic today. So, in 1983, um, toy company Aviva, uh, which you can actually find some prototypes um, floating around, they uh, had an unproduced line that never came out of the Dark Crystal. So this is really cool that we get to see um, Funko making these. Now these are not based off of the sculpt from the Aviva toys. These are all original, but uh, still on the same scale, I, I believe. This is the Land Strider and, and uh, Jin set. So you see the Dark Crystal logo there. Land Strider and Jin, Funko Reaction, and... Um, it does say adult collectible, not a toy. So I'm curious on the quality of these. If these is if these are something that children could play with. It does it does say ages three and up. Up there, I've never really um, taken out the uh, reaction figures. I just have a few of them, and um, they're meant to kind of be nostalgia pieces. So they're kind of meant to stay on card, if you will, like to not be opened. And so here's the back. Sorry for the glare, kind of a glare behind me there. Reaction figures. So we have all these, all the different characters. This is meant to be a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, the Land Strider and Gin set, uh, which is now available at Toys R Us. Um, similarly, there will be a New York City Comic Con, um, Gartham with the winged Kara and the closed mouth uh, fizz gig there, and um, I, I'm assuming that that will be available at Toys R Us after the convention. So you get you get first dibs at the convention, then a month or so later I'll have it available in Toys R Us. There's Agra. So um, to note, each of these it'll say comes with crystal piece number five. It's a build a crystal piece. So you can see there, one, two, three, four, five. And the first um, comes with crystal piece number one is Jin. Now this version of Jin actually, he's actually carrying a um, piece of the crystal shard there. Unlike the other Jin, he comes in here, he has a flute, which we'll check out in a minute here. Then we have Kira. Now this one she has a cloak with no wings and then an open mouth fizz gig. So there are they are variants, they're not just repackages, repackaged uh, figures. Okay, then we have Skeksis, uh, the Chamberlain, with crystal piece number three. Well, I wonder if they'll if they're um, I guess depending on sales and such how well this line will do. I'd love to see more Skeksis and different creatures and the mystics. Urskex and everything. We have Ursul the Mystic comes with piece number four. I'm so excited to get these. So um, these are carry, being carried at Toys R Us right now. I just I just got one today on uh, August 18th, 2016. They had like five boxes of these there, so should have plenty to go around. Let's get them out and see how they look. All right, guys, we're back. I got them opened up, and um, I'm gonna say I'm. I can't tell if it's usually Funko does vinyl premium figures, and 
I want to say this is vinyl, but I can't tell. Maybe if it warmed up really easy, it would. Uh, you can usually tell vinyl it gets really, really soft under like hair dryer or heater temperature. So he had, this is a land strider. He's articulated in the head. It's slightly uh, bendable. You wouldn't want to. It, it feels like the the vinyl that I'm assuming is vinyl um, that's used is kind of. You can hear that kind of. Um, if you drop it, I'd almost be worried about it breaking. I, I don't think this is probably kid grade, like it says on their adult collector. So, kind of a bummer. I was hoping to um, get my kids this line. Probably not till they're a little older, though. See the detail on the feet, different paint variations that goes up the, the character. You have all the hairs and stuff down here. Really, really cool. Real nice detail. And we have Jen. I'm sorry, uh, anything is some writing on the feet. Okay. Then we have Jen here. Very nice. Different colors, almost like a blue wash on top of his hair. The detail on his clothes. I went ahead and put his flute in his hand. Some nice detail on there. The holes in the windpipe and everything. So, same with him. I, I want to say he's like a vinyl. Bendable and such. So, here's the back of him. He does have holes for peg or for a stand there. Um, so his head moves a little bit, his hair hinders further movement. And his arms can move up. You know, these are based again, that's supposed to look like it's a retro figure, like a what if this was made back in the day sort of thing. His, his uh, legs are interesting, the uh, articulation. You can see it, they want it to look like the skirt pieces is uh, there and so it's articulated so it kind of moves up like so so all in all these look really cool he looks really cool standing next to the land strider um you know what i bet he does ride on here because uh i just noticed also this version of Jin with the shard. His legs are together and this one they're not. So it's not the exact same figure. Let's see if Jin will ride on top. Yeah, I'm gonna guess so. Oh yeah, easily. Whoops! <laughs> he fell. Very cool. I like it. Oh, he fell again. It's not a real tight squeeze, but if you have him displayed, he's going to fit on there nice. I like it. So that's Funko Reactions, uh, three and three quarter um, reaction figures. And I uh, hope you guys found this information and the um, looks of these insightful. I hope these get um, a lot of... Uh, fan reaction so we can keep the line going and get some cool stuff. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for watching Ace Review and stay tuned for more.